we're officially one week into living at the compound and I gotta say, uh, it's been pretty nice. My only complaint is long distances for anything that you need. Any type of food, utilities, stuff you need for the house. Uh, it's a minimum like 20 minute drive one way. But other than that, uh, the compound is awesome and the house is beautiful, so I can't complain. I'm heading to uh, Duncan right now to start the day, just try and get some coffee in my system. For some reason, I've been waking up like a lot earlier lately. Usually I wake up around nine, but I've been waking up around like 7.30 and uh, I don't hate it. My only problem is that I go to bed late, so then I don't get enough sleep, but hey, I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but the Soarer's AC system is the best AC system I have ever had. It's literally fogging out my car, and it does it every single morning. It is just so cold. It's unbelievable. Guys, in the last video, I mentioned that I was doing a pre-order on the t-shirts, and you guys absolutely blew them out of the water. Um, I could not be any more grateful. It is just so cool to see so many people that want to support me and be a part of my brand and my channel and everything. Um, it is really heartwarming and uh, I just want to say thank you. Um, I really, really appreciate it. I want to continue putting a lot more items on my store throughout this year um, and I just wanted to talk to you guys real quick because I have something extremely cool coming on June 10th. Now I've been working on this for about two months or so now and it's finally done. It's finally here. They showed up a couple days ago and uh, I made a little promotional video that I put on my Instagram. So I'll let you guys watch that now and then we can talk about it after. Enjoy! What if life comes after death? Grab my life these for a very long time now and I'm happy to say that they are finally here my divine waving air fresheners these are so cool I want to continue making very unique uh, products that I can sell on my website and this is definitely one of them this is probably the coolest piece of merch I've ever made aside from any apparel stuff design wise this is definitely the coolest little gadget that I have ever made uh, to put inside of a car and I love air fresheners but I wanted something that much cooler and uh, I think we did a great job. So like the promo said these will be available on my site June 10th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Quantities are limited so just remember June 10th 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time link is always in the top of the description. I also put detailed instructions of how to put this together and install it in this product's description on my website. So if you have any questions, you can always refer to the description of the product on the website. But I'm gonna show you guys how to put them together now, uh, just so that there's no confusion. This one's a little bent, so it's gonna be the demo one. You have your air freshener, obviously. Super cool design that I made myself. The Japanese inscription says, get low which I think is pretty cool. And then obviously the vine on the little ring. Um, very cool. The other pieces you'll get in the package are obviously the waving spring, the suction cup itself, and some red sticky pads. Now if your bag for some reason came with a white piece of tape already on the end of this, do yourself a favor, take the white tape off. It does not stick as well as the red tape and your air freshener might fall off. It's pretty easy, but I still wanna just kinda show you guys how to do it because um, I'm just really pumped on these and I wanna make sure you guys enjoy them. So, first step, figure out which way you want the air freshener to go, whether you want it to look at you in the car or outside facing towards the windshield. I like it facing towards the windshield so that people can see it waving when you're driving. Step one, take the spring, insert it into the suction cup, just like that. Then go ahead, grab a piece of the red 3M tape, Peel off the white side, stick it to the top of the spring and hold them together for at least 15 seconds just to make sure that it sticks 100%. I've had another one of these demo air fresheners in the sore for the past three months 
and uh, it has not fallen off at all. So you shouldn't have any issues, but do not use the white tape. The air freshener will not stick to it. The red tape though, it will stick just fine. Next step after that, peel the red side of the tape off. Rip open that air freshener. Now I like to stick it directly in the middle of the palm, just like that. And then once again, hold these together very firmly, press very tight for 15 seconds, and there you go. Now you have your very own Divine Waving Air Freshener. These are all in black ice. They smell amazing, they look amazing. They're super fun to have in your car or anywhere else you wanna put them. So I hope you guys are pumped on these. I think it's a really cool item to release and I hope to continue making cool items like this to be able to put on my store. And they make a cool little office decoration piece too. Speaking of, you guys love the office renovation video and thankfully we're not done. We have a ton more to do in here. And uh, I think the first step is going to be paint. I got this shipped in yesterday. This is a paint and primer, gray. I think it'll be sick. It is the perfect gray color to match the floor. And then I have some black paint coming in later today that will be all for the running boards for the door going along the entire thing. Another really cool thing, I got a couple Japanese DVDs to be able to play on the TV in the corner over there, just kind of on repeat. This is an old hot version Toge Attack DVD from I think 2004, and uh, it should look really, really cool on there. Unfortunately, it doesn't play right now because the DVD is from another region and the TV doesn't recognize it, but I have a cheap little DVD player I got from Amazon coming in today that should be able to read it as well as a new remote for the TV, so. Cool things happening here. Just got notification that another one of the DVDs arrived for the TV, and I had no idea that it had already rained out here. So I hope it's not ruined, because it's a kind of a rare DVD. All right, new DVD. It says it works in all regions, so we gotta test it. No way. Yes. Alright, so I think it's time to start the paint on the walls. Um, I am only going to do this section first, um, just so that I can get an idea of what I'm working with. And if it turns out to be too dark, then I will probably hold off and uh, start looking for a little bit of a lighter color. But I think this is a pretty neutral gray. It's not very dark, it's not very bright. Um, it should be okay, so. Um, I guess I didn't really need to tape the floor off if I'm gonna be painting those separately again. Um, but I did it anyway. I did it on the back of the TV stand as well. So I'm gonna start on this wall panel and uh, we will see the transformation. I definitely don't know what I'm doing and I probably did 87 things wrong during that time lapse that everyone that's watching that are painters uh, could probably point out but I like the color at least and uh, I like the running board idea the black between to break it up I like that a lot I'm worried that it's gonna make the room a little darker uh, in terms of just like ambient light in here um, but I do like the atmosphere and I think it works better for a media room, which this is going to eventually turn into. I'm not going to be going super crazy. I kind of had a little bit of a change of thought today. We need the space for media stuff. We plan on getting green screens 
uh, giant photo boxes, like human sized photo boxes that we can put in here. Um, a bunch of cool media stuff, which I think would be cool to kind of share. And the possibilities are pretty much endless in here. So it's late, it's like 10 o'clock. I'm going to call it on uh, this wall for tonight. And uh, maybe we'll do some more tomorrow, but I'm pretty beat. So I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, so I think tentative plan for today, I taped off this line going down the side and that line is in perfect parallel with the edge of this wall here. And I'm going to basically do everything back gray and then do the running board black here, here. I don't know if I'm gonna do the door black. I feel like that might be a little bit much. We'll see how it looks once I do the running boards going up and around, uh, but we'll see. I wanna just kind of do this whole corner in this color scheme, and that will give me a much better idea if I want to do the entire room um, or just leave this corner as kind of like an accent corner. Because the TV is here and it'll be playing old DVDs and stuff, maybe we could turn this into like the JDM corner, um, have some shelves and some old memorabilia and stuff under it on, on the walls and stuff. And this whole section can just be gray and black and kind of be like that. And then the rest of the office can be used as a media room. So that's my tentative plan for right now. I'm gonna set you guys back up on the tripod, time lapse this going down, and then we'll see how everything looks when we're done. So I'm pumped on this little corner. I think I'm going to end up turning this into kind of like the JDM corner, like I said. Came out really well. All the lines are very crisp. I really dig the black outline going around everything. It really breaks it up nice. I think if the TV has some lights behind it to kind of illuminate the backside, just kind of like my desk, um, it would be pretty cool to have that in the corner. And then the wall can just be a bunch of JDM things to hang everywhere and just kind of make this corner very cool because I don't want to make the entire office super crazy. This does have to be a media space. So right now, as it stands, my plan is little JDM corner. This wall right here is going to be all acoustic foam. This wall will most likely be a green screen. This entire wall will be taken up by a green screen. That'll be cool. Obviously the corner with my office desk. This corner will have a photo box, a human sized photo box that we can take photos of product in. And then this wall will probably either cover with more acoustic foam or we will find something else to put on this part of the wall here. It's very wide open, very bare. So we have plenty of real estate to work with, but I'm pumped. Little corner came out sick. Glad I took the time to do that. Just another chill weekend here, trying to get little things squared away. Waiting on some stuff for the Supra. The wheels should be here this week which will be sick. I can mount those on the Supra, get the tires put on them. That's gonna be fun. Aside from that, I need to order some maintenance stuff for the Soar uh, engine wise. I just wanna kind of tune it up, get some new gaskets for the valve cover cause it's leaking a little bit. New plugs, things like that. And then I think I'm gonna start buying all of the mechanical things for the Supra. Uh, the head swap, the turbo kit, things like that. I want a body kit for that car. The body kit's pretty expensive. Uh, so I might pull the trigger on that. I don't know yet. I keep getting distracted by the TV in the background. <laughs> but yeah, just trying to get a game plan for that car and get everything kind of uh, planned out in terms of what I need to buy first. Kind of go from there. It's an expensive car with expensive parts, so it's going to take a while, but I'm very much looking forward to it. It has been absolutely forever since I gave this thing a wash because of all the love bugs that have been out lately. 
you couldn't drive more than a mile without having your entire front end of your car covered in these disgusting little bugs. But I think thankfully they have all since left and died off. So I think it's time to give this thing a much needed wash. Quick little wash, looks 10 times better. Still kind of dirty, there's a lot of like very deep kind of water spots stuck in here that I couldn't get out in a quick wash, but it looks 10 times better. So friggin' pumped on these. Hope you guys are pumped on them too. But now, I'm gonna go run to the store because we're out of food and we're in the middle of nowhere. So I'm gonna go be an adult, do some shopping, get some food, stuff like that. Boring things, you know? Boring adult things. to have this Supra sign in his office and he uh, surprised it with me today since he no longer has the Supra and I just acquired one. I think it's perfect for this wall. Don't really have much stuff to hang on it right now, but trust me, I'm gonna hang so much stuff on this wall. It's gonna be so sick. The rest of the office is still kind of a mess right now because we're still kind of moving in and figuring things out, but I think I have a really good game plan of how I wanna lay this place out and have it work for a media room and as a cool little spot to hang some cool stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Another chill one, get pumped on the air fresheners. I hope you guys like them. And to anyone that pre-ordered a shirt, thank you very, very much. I have one other item coming to the store after the air fresheners, and that will be the posters. So look out for those, those will be very limited. I'll update you guys when those go down, but thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.